On this video today, I want to show you how to upload YouTube Shorts from your PC because it's never been more important to start uploading YouTube Shorts. You can see here that YouTube is now going to be monetizing Shorts with a 45% revenue split, which means in 2023, when you upload YouTube Shorts and your channel is monetized, you are going to earn 45% of the revenue split from all the ads that your channel makes. So how do you get your YouTube Shorts monetized? Well, you need to get 1,000 subscribers or 10 million short views within the first 90 days. This is important to know, and this is why you should start uploading YouTube Shorts. Now, if your channel is already monetized, all you need to do is turn this feature on. And this is why I wanna show you how to upload YouTube Shorts from your PC. So I'm gonna go through and show you the entire upload process. Then I wanna show you where you need to go to customize your YouTube Shorts to make sure that they all appear on your mobile phone when people go through and take a look at it so they can watch all the YouTube Shorts that you have uploaded it. On top of that, I wanna show you how you can automate your description to get people to click onto any links that you want them to click onto. So first things first, what is a YouTube Shorts and what are the dimensions that they need to be? Well, you need to make sure that the dimensions are 1080 by 1920. These are vertical format videos that are primarily filmed on your mobile phone, for your mobile phone, but if you're going to create these videos on your PC and upload them on your PC, you can absolutely do that. You just need to make sure that the dimensions are 1080 by 1920. And how long do YouTube Shorts need to be? Well, you need to ensure that they are 60 seconds or less. So every time you upload a YouTube Short, it's going to appear inside the YouTube Shorts feature. Anything longer than that, it's going to appear as a standard sized video. Now, just before we get into this upload process, if you are new to the Smart Video Tactics channel, all you need to do is go down the bottom, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification. As you can see, we are almost at 50,000 subscribers and we are trying to get this channel to 100,000. We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers on this channel. I aim to help you build your own YouTube channel, grow it, get it monetized and ultimately make money with YouTube and video content. And in saying that, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know down the bottom, are you currently making YouTube Shorts? What success are you having and what challenges do you have? I'd love to hear from you because I'd be more than happy to help you out. And if you end up getting value out of this video, all I ask for in return is that you smash that like button in appreciation. So on my channel, Smart Money Tactics, I've been uploading a lot of YouTube Shorts, testing out the strategy. As you can see here, I just uploaded one a couple of hours Hours ago and it's currently sitting in the sixth position it's had 398 views so in order to upload a YouTube short from your PC what you need to do is come up to the top and click on to create then you want to click on to upload video what we now need to do is come down here and find a video that we have available uploaded on to our PC either from potentially your phone or from any video editing software that you have created a video and downloaded. So I've got one prepared. I'm going to click onto that. So if I go to select files, all I need to do is type in the title. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to pick on one. I'm just selected this one here and I'm going to click on to open. What this is going to do is it's going to import the title that I've saved this as. Now, very, very important. What you need to do is you need to make sure that the title of this video is inside here. Then you need to make sure that you enter in hashtag shorts. Okay, this is very important that you've got that in the title. It lets YouTube know that it is a short video. If you leave it out, it's not the end of the world, but it's good to have it in there just to have that, to let YouTube know that it is a YouTube short. When it comes over here into your description, again, you can have the title of this video. The other thing that you can also do, what I would strongly be doing is targeting a particular keyword when you're uploading these videos. For example, with this one, I'm targeting how to make money online. Then I've got hashtag shorts. What I'd be doing in the description of this video is I'd be copying this and I'd be pasting this inside here. 
right at the front and I'd also have hashtag shorts there as well. Now this description over here, I'm going to show you how to customize this so that when people watch any one of these shorts, what they're able to do is click onto the description and take a look at what you have. Let me show you what that looks like. So here we are on the YouTube shorts feed and if I was watching this video and I clicked onto these three little dots, you can do this also on your mobile phone. If you click onto this and you click onto description, you can see here that this person is promoting their Instagram and their TikTok as well. The other thing you can also have in is you can tell people to subscribe. You may potentially be promoting an offer where people can also click onto that. If I come over to my channel and I click onto my latest video, I'm just going to pause this. If I click onto these three little dots and I click onto description, you can see here that I'm promoting the full video from my YouTube Shorts feed. People click onto this, it's going to drive them straight over to that main video and if you click on to show more you can have a lot more links inside here this is why it's important that when you're uploading these youtube shorts video you can customize this description so that this appears automatically without you having to fill this out time and time again so now what we need to do as part of the upload process you want to scroll down and what you're going to see here is that you've got a few options for thumbnails at the moment uploading your own thumbnail does not work on YouTube Shorts and I don't know why I'm hoping that they're going to upgrade this feature but what you can do is choose any one of these three and sometimes unfortunately even when you change this it doesn't change it it pretty much goes with what YouTube sets out for this particular video it seems to have picked that one then what you want to do is scroll down and as you scroll down you can see that it's got video tags now for video tags what you want to do is you also want to be replicating something similar to what you're using in the title. Now I'm going to show you that when it comes to YouTube Shorts, they are coming up in search features as well. So for example, with this one over here, I'd be targeting how to make money online and then anything else that go with it. I use a software called VidIQ to do all my keyword research and I highly recommend that you potentially use one as well. I'll have a link in my description where you can do all your keyword research. So whatever niche you're in, highly recommend that you do that. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you where all my views come from and I'll show you that some of these views also come from YouTube search. So this is where you wanna add your tags. From there, you just wanna scroll down. You can complete any of this. It's completely up to what you wanna leave it on. As you can see, mine's on a standard YouTube license. I use blog uh, people and blogs some people like to use how to i don't think that makes too much of a difference when it comes to comments and ratings i like to hold any potential inappropriate comments for review and then i'll approve them some people allow all comments it's completely up to you how you want to do that then what i like to do scroll down you can click on to next if your channel is monetized like mine is you can click on to allow and click on to done when it comes to youtube shorts you're not going to have any mid-roll ads they're going to be before and after and then as you scroll down you can see that all this is a grayed out then what you want to do is a click on to next if you are monetized you are going to need to adhere to the YouTube ad policy and this is all going to become relevant in 2023 you want to scroll down click on to none of the above and then you want to submit that rating what it's going to do then it's going to take you over to the video element and once you've done that, you can see here that no copyright issues, ad suitability is fine. So you want to make sure that these come up all good. Then you want to click on to next. And this is where you are going to either place your video unlisted, save it or publish it. It's completely up to you. Put it to public or you can schedule the video and then save it. This is going to then publish this video. So what you'd potentially be doing is either scheduling it for a later period or what you can do is click on to public and then hit publish and then this video is going to go live. Once the video goes live, you'll be able to monitor all the YouTube shorts you have uploaded in your analytics. As you can see, if I come over here to content, I'll be able to see my long form content and also my YouTube shorts where I can come over here and take a look at the analytics of these videos and also I can click on to comments and I can edit and make any changes if I wanted to to the description etc. What we want to do from here on the left hand side you can see here you've got this customization tab. You want to click onto this customization tab and this is really important. 
what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you can see this you've got this ad section and when it comes to me you can see I've got short videos what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this section to show you why it's important to have this in here so I'm going to remove this we're going to come up to the top we're going to click on the ad section and we're going to select short videos now as you can see we've got these short videos now when it comes to short videos what you want to do is you want to bring these up to the top and you want to put them up maybe second either first or second now anytime somebody ends up on your home page of your YouTube channel they will have the opportunity to watch multiple YouTube short videos which is potentially going to get you an additional subscriber and in 2023 you are going to need those additional views in order to get your channel monetized this is really really important when you're uploading these different YouTube short videos that you give your channel the best opportunity to get as many views as possible now what you want to do is you want to set up that description and make it all automated what you want to do on the left hand side is you want to scroll down and you can see you're going to have this settings tab you want to click on to settings once you've clicked on to settings you can see here that you've got all these options now what you want to do is come over to upload default and this is where you've got this description section you can even set up your title if you wanted to and just put hashtag shorts in here and if you do that it's going to appear every single time you got to upload a video and you can delete it in the uploading process but the other thing that you can do as you can see I've got my entire description over here which is going to pre populate every time I go to upload a video the other thing that you can also do guys is you can add tags in here and these tags are going to appear every single time Time you upload a video so if you're always uploading very similar content you can have some basic tags in here so you don't need to go back and re-enter these different tags and this is how you have customized your YouTube shorts so when you're uploading YouTube shorts from your PC it's giving you the best opportunity to get these different types of YouTube shorts to rank but also saving you some time from here what we want to have a look at is there are different ways that your YouTube shorts videos are going to get their views here's an example of just one of my YouTube shorts that I uploaded you can see here it's had 16,000 views it's given me 363 subscribers it's made me about six dollars and twenty cents but this is all going to change in 2023 once I start to get an even bigger revenue share and YouTube starts showing even more ads between these YouTube shorts now let's take a look where these views are coming from you can see that currently this one YouTube shorts is getting 491 views every 48 hours and these views are coming from the shorts feed they're coming from browse features suggested videos channel pages and 2.6 percent is coming from YouTube search I've got YouTube shorts videos that I have uploaded from my PC that are getting as much as 20 percent YouTube search traffic this is huge which means that even YouTube short videos can be evergreen so don't be afraid to target keywords inside your YouTube shorts so this is how you can upload YouTube shorts from your PC now if you enjoyed this video like I said make sure you subscribe to the channel smash that like button in appreciation and let me know in the comments are you currently using YouTube shorts and what challenges do you have and I'll be more than happy to help you out now don't go anywhere if you want to know a software that you can use absolutely for free to upload YouTube shorts from your PC in any niche that you want Click onto this video over here right now. I made this the other day. It's an amazing software, a great niche. If you don't have a YouTube channel yet, click onto this video right now. Watch it. I'll see you on that video. Until next time, you guys take care of yourselves and goodbye.